making a record, putting out a record, mm -hmm. like that is a case in point. Yeah, but then you have to, to kind of care for yourself. Yeah, that's definitely. who I am. I, yeah. I commit to this mm -hmm. and and being judged by this ex by this external person or being perceived in X way by this external person is not actually, no, it's not going to get in the way of me maintaining this commitment to myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, it's like I, I like that you're looking at this as such a process because I'm like, what? What will I write when I get right. like more, more healthy? Like yeah, or or, 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 or I hope I still write versions of these. Of course, yeah. <laughs> you're, and you're honoring this important music yeah. with the record release, and it makes complete sense that you're not doing lots of songwriting at the moment. Yeah. But I'm intrigued uh, to see how um, maybe there'll be a few more songs with slightly slower BPMs, a little, a few sadder songs. I I like all this. I know. I've been like, it's, it is interesting you say that because I'm like, gosh, like what. I, I was looking back at this, like, someone was like, oh, I love that song on your first EP, Say You Love Me. Mm. Say, it's like, say you love me, say you'll never leave, say you'll, you'll always be the same. And it's like, such a, <laughs> it's such like, I'm like, oh, wow, I'm just so out of that place mm. now. You know, that, you like know, that vulnerable, and kind of that vulnerable, you know, there's a lot of, when you have had a lot of, like, you know, stuff in your life um, that maybe you haven't felt has been that positive. You like get rid of that vulnerable piece. Mm. You know, that piece of that's still, you know, singing about love and like keeping it. And yes. you know, it's like that has kind of like gone, you know, I have- It's not very present on this particular no, record, which is and it, fine. You know, I feel like I'm trying to find that again in myself. Yeah. You Seems know, by like healing it. these like pieces. Yeah. But yeah, I, I definitely would love a slow song again. Um, just a sad song, a good old sad song. Yeah, you, but you, yeah, just something slow even, just mm. like easy feeling. Mm. But I just haven't, that hasn't come out yet. Instead the, you don't know me, <laughs> came out. <laughs> <laughs> I like that, and you referred to, well, you don't know me is... Not uh, on there. It, but the lyric is, in Waste of My Time, you don't know me, you don't know what I do. Oh, yeah. And yeah, uh, yes. there's so many, and fade, ha, is it true, and uh, look, uh, the look in your eyes, or at least all of those, one, two, three, four, five songs. Uh, have so half of the at least half of the songs on the record do have the word no and are oh, reflecting yeah, on <laughs> knowledge. Do you know me? I know this about you. Yeah. And I, and the emotions are, I to get somewhat to get into doctor call the philosophical mode. The emotions are cognitions. Uh, there's a book called Upheavals of Thought, The Intelligence of Emotions by a philosopher that influenced me a lot called Martin Nussbaum. I'm like, it's that all... sounds... <laughs> 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 but, but everything that we've been saying about emotions uh, is... Um, it is the case that, the, that they're forms of thought. The philosopher Spinoza's big influence on, on me and it is a form of knowledge. Even the anger, like something is... Um, it's it's it can maybe confused cognition. Mm -hmm. You know, the, if anger is the beacon, it's telling yeah. me uh, I am not being treated with respect. Uh, something is off. Useful. Yeah. That's useful. Mm -hmm. But then, unless I create this um, clearance where I can be with that part and be well, what's being communicated here and then mm -hmm. get some extra data mm -hmm. uh, and be like, okay, what exactly is happening here? Yeah. Um, then um, uh, it's it's a confused cognition, but, it ha but it's also a form of knowledge. And yeah, I like that, that confused cognition because it is sort of there's like- There's truth in it. It's like you're, yeah, it's, <laughs> there is truth in it, but it often it's what you're expressing isn't quite the truth, yeah. right? So, yeah, I do have kind of a lot of words that I use over. I realize in my songs, I, I do have a lot of themes that, you know, even you same even same sentences kind of that come up. Yeah. Um, but it is that idea of, I mean, I feel like people that do music, like if you're doing it publicly, 
it's because you want to connect. You want, you need that connection. You want people to know you. You want to know people. Mm -hmm. You want to be understood. Yep. And I feel like that is just kind of always in there. Like I want to be understood. And I want, and I want the people that understand me to like, let's, like let's uh, let's understand each other. Okay? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I really uh, that's really coming through a lot. Yeah, I, mean, I, I, yeah. I think that's I've, we've been friends a long time, and I think that's always been there. But it's coming through a lot in this particular conversation. Yeah, like it has always been there. I've always kind of felt like an outsider, you know, someone that you know doesn't fit in, you know, and, and that's maybe you know a myth of mine because. I've told some friends that and they're like, no, you fit in just as well as anybody else fits in, Elizabeth. And I was like, really? Because I feel like you guys are all like closer. And she's like, no, no, we're just as close with you. I'm like, okay. She's like, you're getting this wrong, you know? <laughs> but it's like, I have that always- That story isn't entirely true. <laughs> right. Yeah. But the story I've often told myself in my life is that, you know, like, I don't fit here. I don't fit there. I don't, where, you know, where do I fit? And it did have to do with uh, like my my parents getting a divorce and my dad is from Lebanon. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, just cultures being very different. Um, so I think there were a lot of things that maybe, f maybe did sort of fuel that. Mm -hmm. But now it's like, now I don't really need to hold on to that. You know, how can I say like, we all kind of don't fit and fit, you know, at the same time. Yes. Like there's pieces of us that fit with each other and then there's you know pieces where we fit other better with other people and other parts of ourselves you know yes. it's just so it is kind of wanting to be known is or understood is is has been a big thing for me like yeah. in life and you're getting to know yourself more right. and more and through partly, being with the different right. parts of yourself and i think that's part of other people knowing you is also like getting to know yourself and Everybody's like, be kinder to yourself because I'm a very hard person on myself. Yeah. And therefore, it makes me kind of harder on other people too. Yes. So it is kind of being like that, being gentle with yourself and the space. Mm -hmm. and, and getting to, to know and accept and love the complexity of, of, of one's jigsaw puzzle pieces. Yeah. Um, that bodes very well for more and more rich songwriting. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll see. Yes. I'm, I'm like, in, I, I just love that I graduated from one of my therapy sessions, and I was like, they're like, well, what would you like to say, Elizabeth, to everybody? And I was like, I don't feel ready. <laughs> I was like, I am not ready to leave. And they're like, okay, it's okay. Yeah, we're still, you know, this is a process. And I was like, okay, I'm just like, I wish I didn't have to graduate yet. Yeah, I'm not whole and healed yet, everybody. <laughs> I thought like... I'd be fixed. <laughs> um, but now I'm in another therapy, so yeah. that's good. So I'm still still working yeah well we all are always. yeah and we're not, i mean the idea of like you know being fixed is yes not even real yes exactly yeah it's, you were kind of again kind of making fun of yourself a little yeah bit. but i really was like i thought i literally thought i'd be like and here's my new happy life <laughs> blah, 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 blah. hello um but i was like okay i'm still kind of you know stuck you know i have stuck in a lot of places but i definitely i'm like okay it's a it's a process life is complex and that's what it's like it's not easy and i think we always kind of feel like oh if i can't why can't i get this why can't i do this why am i not and it's like because it's hard yes it's hard <laughs> and it's i feel like we we like to think it's not hard and i'm the only one struggling here i mean why am i struggling everybody else has it easy or something and it's like it's life is very hard because being a human is in this context in this culture so hard yeah. I, a lot to navigate really and it's complex and but like i i put this thing in my we we're supposed to be like kind of creating sort of like our life values a bit and mm. i and i put in mind like stay curious because i feel like that kind of helps you so you can you can continue to look at parts that are maybe not as good and work on them and just that you you're like okay this is hard but it's also like, it's also thrilling, right? Mm. It's, there's that kind of curiosity kind of makes it more of like, let's see what happens. Let's experiment. Like if I do, you know, it's just looking at life a little yep. bit differently. Absolutely. Curiosity is key. I know. Um, the, uh, 
the record that I wound up making when I committed to the same songwriting practice as Sarah Morris. Yeah. We were talking okay, about. yeah, I can't wait That's, to um, hear it. And it will be released the day again, June 8th, the day before the June 9th VFW show of and, the Lord. Yeah, so and then June 8th, you're going to do the whole record? You're going to play We're like... going to perform with full band the whole record. Okay, yeah. cool. But I, I bring it up, A, because it relates to a lot of the the themes that we've been discussing cool. uh, today. There's a song called Shame Tapes and Gremlins, for example, which takes a phrase from Brene Brown, who we talked about a little bit, yeah. and acknowledges that there are these voices, judgmental voices within mm -hmm, ourselves. Mm -hmm. And this, that song tries to befriend, it tries through the medium of music mm -hmm. to befriend these, these metaphorical gremlins, shame gremlins. I want to meet the gremlins and find out why these tapes are playing. Yeah. Be with that part. Like, thank you for trying to like stop me from embarrassing myself, Lord Shame Gremlin. I love you. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. But uh, you know, let's let your role evolve a little bit instead yeah. of just being the bad voice to be ignored. I think I can be a little silly here without yeah, getting exactly. in trouble. Let's play with the Gremlin. The Gremlin <laughs> is fun. Yeah. And let, let, let's little gizmo. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> but then I've also curiosity at the other end of the spectrum. Shame and curiosity are two emotions that, you know, if I'm feeling lots of shame, I'm unlikely to be able, until mm -hmm. I practice a bunch of acceptance, to yeah. also simultaneously be feeling curiosity, mm -hmm. certainly about the shame. Right. But uh, uh, the wellspring is curiosity. I feed the quiet part of me that longs for wonder, not reward. Every day I feed it more is uh, those are lyrics from Hum as well. Good so, lyrics. So it wow. Is, Good job. I like those. I was like, that sounds like a poem. <laughs> so, uh, cool. This, yeah, we, we could, we invite everyone to join us on June 8th, June 9th. Yes. Journey through all of the emotions from anger, rage to wonder or curiosity. Come and join us at the VFW for a double whammy. Yeah. It would be just like you can being stay the night there. Again. Yes. Like sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> just don't let box office manager yeah, Simon just, you gotta hide that's, when it closes that's, but that's, that's one just one part of me he'll, he'll turn his just, turn his eyes <laughs> we're being silly it's it's nice to be silly yes yeah but uh, but yeah come and join us at yes. the BFW June 8th uh, for Dr. Simon Calder Hum record release June 9th uh, for Allure but our release is the 22nd, which of please April buy a ticket. at Ice House. Come and, yeah. Yeah, come and see um, Allure in the meantime at Ice House on April 22nd, 22nd yes. at Ice House. And the Ice House has kind of redone their venue, so it, I mean, it feels like a venue. It's fun. Yes, yeah. I love Ice House. Yeah, so it'll be good. Okay, well, what a good, what a good journey. Yeah. Um, thank you for tuning in to the, all parts. Uh, all parts are good. All parts <laughs> of this. There are multiple Love yourself. parts. Love yourself. <laughs> all, all parts are good. All parts of uh, this multi-part interview with Alor have been watched by you. So thank you for making it through to the end. Um, I've you. been uh, Dr. Simon R. Calder, um, host of Back to the City, and I look forward to you joining us again next Thursday at 10 o'clock for another episode. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> cool. Cut. <That's> good. <laughs> yeah. so that was good. Yeah, that was fun. I feel like it's interesting because I don't really think about, I'm, you know, like un the, unlike you, I don't really go through, I don't really think about the overall arch of what I'm saying often. When I get